We have Matthew Lopez. Matthew Lopez is a senior at CCNY. He majors in political science. He is the president of the CCNY Esports Club, which we'll be hearing about in great detail in just a moment. And he is a resident of the Bronx. Matthew, would you please come up to the stage and join us? Give it up for him. Woo! I'm just going to stand a little bit in the front here. Thank you very much, everybody. Appreciate it. Uh, Hello to everybody who's watching on the stream as well. I know a few of you have tapped in, I can tell at least by the names, you can't fool me. And thank you for everybody who's come out. Uh, my name is Matthew, and I am indeed the president of the Esports Club. Um, but I'd like to take us back about two-ish years to the very start of the pandemic, where video games were still a large part of my own life, um, but in a very different way than it is today. Just getting into college and you know, having video games as an outlet for myself to just enjoy and relax and be social with some of my IRL friends and my in real life friends was basically something that was normal to me. Every day I'd come back home from work, play some games with some friends that I had just seen only a few hours prior, you know, restart the entire day. Um, but as the pandemic started to roll in and as things really changed, especially for me and my family, video games started to take on a different role, um, as did much of regular life. You know, being home all day and <clears throat> not really being social in the same ways, it had an impact on me. It definitely had an impact on my college. It had an impact on my mental state as well. Uh, a lot of real life <laughs> circumstances, uh, a lot of unfortunate passings really did take a toll on me mentally. And even though video games were there, they weren't there nearly in the same way that they had used to be. But I took it upon myself to make an investment. I really felt myself at a low point uh, in my life, both in school uh, and mentally. And I decided that I would try to turn it around. And I would try to turn it around in a popular, or not in a popular, but a positive way. About two years ago, a year and a half ago, I invested in a PC for myself. It was with some extra money that I had laying around. And I decided, you know what? I'm not going to be going out. I'm not going to be doing anything else. This could be something that I could do positively for myself. And so I did. I got my PC. I went through the grueling task of putting it all together. And let me tell you something. Not only did I do it for one person, I did it for three. Wow. Three people. And if they're watching, you know who you are. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but through that, I found something. And I found something that I hadn't really known existed before. You see, I was a console gamer. And the CCNY Esports Club here on campus did exist, but they existed mostly in the capacity of PC, League of Legends, you know, that, that kind of online game. And that just didn't interest me as a console player, you know, because we don't have League. Uh, it's not something that I, I would be interested in, in doing. But having a PC made me think, well, maybe there is something to this. Maybe I can kind of dip my toe in, in the water and get social. I'm a senior now, and I've had some experiences on campus, but to my own regret, a lot of it was really just spent going to class, going and getting something from the cafeteria, and then just going straight home. The same process every single day. Socialization was just not on my radar. School and work and other responsibilities were really taking up a lot of my time. But being on Discord and knowing that there was a community of people that I could connect with was something unique, something that I hadn't had before. And so I really did lean into that and I wanted to make it something that I could come to rely on. And so I did. For about a year, about a semester, me, along with five fantastic friends that I had made through DMing them and bothering them to play Rainbow Six Siege with me on a competitive team to represent CCMY, that's exactly what we did. We went out and played. And let me tell you something, we sucked. We were awful. I think we won like one game. I still have the VOD from it, fantastic times. But I think the important thing to come out of that experience was I had done something that I had never done before. I socialized. I felt like I was a part of a community in a club where even two years ago, it just was not something on my radar. And that was an experience that really meant something to me. And so I decided to take it even further. Following the elections, I put myself out there and said, I want to become the president of this club. I want to enact the same change in people coming in 
and maybe not taking advantage of their first year or their first two years or their first three years like I had. And I want them to recognize the ability of community building that we really do have here. And so that's, well, that's what this event's all about. That's what we're trying to do here, and that's what the club is really striving to do. And to that end, it really has brought so many people together. I feel like my socialization through this club, through all the games that we play, through all the new games that I play, has really brought me to a different state of mind, one where I feel motivated. I feel like I can take my future with my own two hands, and I can move forward and project myself a better future than I probably had two years ago. The new responsibilities that I have now uh, as the president, the responsibilities that I had gained being a part of a team, there's a very particular intersection in this esports club, especially when you compete, between the traditional sports, the responsibilities, and the camaraderie that you have in traditional sports, and the ability to build a community, to have a group of people that you really do identify with as a club. And it's something that is completely unique to esports. And it's something that's completely unique to this environment in gaming. The idea that virtually you can know so many people. The idea that all these people that I hadn't met for months on end, I felt closer to or as close to than even some of my friends in real life. And it's something that genuinely I really wish to see expand. It's something that's helped me personally. And it's something that I want to help other people see and embrace. Because as esports and as collegiate esports gets larger and larger, I think people will start to come to realize that this is just a part and parcel of college life as we know it. And it truly is. I mean, the amount of times that me and my friends have spent a night gaming or a night looking at worksheets and a night studying for tests, where we picked each other's brains about what we thought about the most recent changes to CUNY First, for example, or what the next test coming up in our classes would be. These are aspects of socialization that just would not have been possible. And for me, personally, I really do think that it was the saving grace for both my mental and for my uh, educational state of mind going forward. It really has propelled me to take responsibilities that I might not have taken. It's made me accountable. It's made me feel like I'm welcome. And I think one of the most important things is it's made me feel like I'm a part of CCNY. To me, when I talk to people who aren't in CCNY, when I play games to people, the first thing that I always tell them is, well, I played under CCNY. I played Rainbow Six Siege underneath CCNY. I was the captain. I was the in-game leader. It's something that I take pride in. In the same way that even a D-tier athlete at any college takes pride in the fact that they say, well, I played lacrosse, I played soccer for my school, I take that exact same pride. And I think all of us here, if you come away with one thing from all of this, I think that all of us should come away with the idea that gaming, that esports, and that this club environment that all over the country people are building, including ours, are really trying to create a unique experience and a unique carved out space in college life that's not only accessible to everybody, but is open and is able to build for everybody for years to come. Thank you.